All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sean here with the good old Silver Hound. Hope everyone's doing well this evening. Uh, tonight we have the preview for Friday's upcoming U.S. Type and World Coin Showcase auction. Uh, again, that's going to be on Friday on the platform Whatnot. Um, glad to be back for the month of April and uh, great news. As a matter of fact, I'm here to announce that. I will be around for at the minimum three more months. So I increased my um, uh, my commitment to whatnot for three more months. Hopefully you guys don't get tired of me. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing more awesome uh, auctions and uh, another bit of news for you guys. We might see more frequency in my auction. So as of right now, we have the standard every Friday auction that's going to be occurring on the WhatNot platform uh, this coming Friday. It's uh, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time in the evening, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, in case you guys want to check it out, I will have the... Um, the links down below, uh, one for directly to the live stream that you guys can bookmark and also my referral link to get your $15 in credit that you could use right away on your first purchase. Um, you certainly don't want to miss it. So yeah, I kind of made a big stink about this on another video earlier today about how I will probably end up uh, stop selling on eBay um, for the foreseeable future, especially when it comes to coins and currency and transitioning to whatnot because this platform has been absolutely amazing. So um, before we jump into the coins over here, um, you know, again, this is kind of like a mishmash of both world and US type. Uh, so that way you guys kind of get a, a, a true flavor feeling for what's going to be occurring this month, along with, um, you know, some pretty nice giveaways that we're also going to be doing as well. Um, thank you guys again for all your views and support, of course, uh, with all the whatnot auctions. And I'm looking forward to delivering another blockbuster here for you. And uh, it's been great so far. And you guys keep up that momentum. All right, so um, you know, right off the bat, you'll be able to uh, access the Buy It Now listings uh, right now, um, and that I'm going to be adding these on uh, tomorrow. Uh, right now, I have available. I still have the uh, the two count uh, bar lot of Valcombi Swiss one gram bars uh, that you could buy. Uh, although, unfortunately, I did have to raise the price a little bit because guess what? The market is crazy right now so it didn't go up too much i had them for seven dollars for a two count set now they're eight dollars but i probably should i probably wouldn't wait too much longer um you know picking up some of these if you want to add one to your order or just buy it as a standalone um because uh, these things have been going up and i'm not so sure if i'm going to be getting more of these one gram bars or if i'll be looking elsewhere to pick up some other type of silver but silver has been on the upswing uh, due to banking fears and whatnot and all that great, well, not whatnot, but <laughs> I, I got to stop using that in, in a different context. Uh, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, so uh, silver, yeah, silver, I've, uh, you know, checked in with my local coin shops and uh, they're priced a lot higher uh, than, uh, than what I'd like. So... Uh, so real quick, let's go ahead and cover some of the giveaways. Um, so we have here first and foremost, okay, if you guys want to do the giveaways, there's no obligation whatsoever to bid on any of the coins here. Uh, we have a full complete 2009 S. These are all copper proof, uh, Lincoln, uh, and they're kind of toned as well. These are the Lincoln commemorative coins, the formative years, the birthplace, the um, uh, presidency, and all that great stuff. Uh, and these are all copper, all right? So uh, pretty nice U.S. Mint set right here. This is going to be one of the giveaways. Uh, we'll also have a 1971 proof set as well that will be given away. This is a nice, fresh example here with a, a really nice cameo Kennedy half dollar, and that dime is looking good as well. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be another giveaway item. 
And then we also have the 1972 as well. Let's go ahead and open this one, open up this one, show you guys. So that's the 1972. Again, another uh, another nice couple cameo coins, the nickel, the half dollar, um, nice cameo on that dime right there. So it looks like that for the most part, it's all on the obverse, but yeah, so we're gonna be giving away another nice solid proof set there too. And then this last one is actually pretty cool. Um, this is a 1999S clad Delaware statehood quarter. This is a proof, uh, proof 70 as a matter of fact, with ultra cameo, a uh, top graded, perfectly graded coin right here, NGC plastic. Um, it, it's a older holder, as you can see, it doesn't have the prongs on there. Uh, but we'll be also giving away this one as well. All right. So uh, what I do have for this Friday's upcoming auction stream is not everything that I'm going to have. Okay. I have more coins coming in. Um, you guys will just have to wait until probably tomorrow night when I list all these on into the store. Um, and, you know, you'll see what I have in there. Uh, but for the most part, wait until Friday night and see what I have there uh, that's going to be available um, you're definitely not going to want to miss it because I got some other good stuff coming in. Uh, someone had said, Hey, Sean, let's get some more of those casino silver strikes. And, uh, I think I might hook you guys up there with that. Um, so let's go ahead and start it out with this, uh, 1951 France. Uh, this is a half franc, um, silver, a very beautiful mint state coin right here. Uh, beautiful design, by the way, on this one. So in case you guys are wondering, this is 0.835 silver. So that's the um, uh, kind of the composition on this one right here. But again, very nice looking coin with lots of luster present. Um, just a beautiful looking example right there. So that's going to be one of the coins that we're going to feature in this upcoming Friday show. Uh, we also have this one here, 1963, Netherlands, one golden. Uh, these coins are 0 0.720 silver fine. All right, so that's something to be expect, uh, that you could expect for this one. It's got the lettered edge, a very unique, very nice piece here. Uh, they don't make them quite like this anymore, that's for sure. So that's going to be another one there. Uh, so I had a number of these Canadian uh, 0.800 fine silver dollars we're going to auction them all off one by one we have a 1960 good looking example here uh so that's going to be in the mix we also have this 1965 with beautiful toning by the way nice green and blue and a little bit of that rose rose pink toning in there uh you guys will like this one a little bit of toning on the obverse as well but that that obverse is that crescent moon style of toning you see there is really pretty on that 65. And again, these are all 0 0.800 silver. Uh, we also have this 1966 as well. So we're going to be adding this one into the auction because uh, it's a little bit of spotty toning on the obverse, but the reverse looks pretty good there. Uh, it's got some uh, nice cartwheel luster. We have another 1960. For you, so that's gonna be in there as well. This one's showing a few hairlines on the obverse. I don't know if it's been cleaned, but you know, I, I'm gonna just go out and say that this is probably more AU than anything else. The uh, reverse has all the luster, um, the obverse not not so much. Uh, we also have one more 1960 right here for you as well. This one is uh, pretty well circulated, but. You know, I'll probably end up putting this one first in the uh, in the group of um, coins to sell off. But 1960, great way to pick up some silver right now because it's been spiking like a mad bad brother. Uh, and yeah, we got a few few uh, few of them for you guys to consider. All right, so um, yeah, this one is actually quite interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and pan out a little bit for you guys to see this. Um, this is actually. A uh, three-roll set of the brand new Edith Kanaka Ole quarters from the U.S. Mint. You're gonna get a PD and S. Now I'm gonna let you guys decide how you want me to sell this. Do you want me to sell this as the three-roll set, or 
do you want me to break this open and sell the P roll, the D roll, and the San Francisco roll all separately? And keep in mind that San Francisco roll, that's the one that everybody wants. That has the lowest mintage. And generally, the San Francisco roll is what carries all the value of the three roll set. But if we're going to sell all three in one shot, I'm going to keep it in the box. I'm not going to open it. And uh, I'm going to ship it in this. All right. So that's how we're going to do it. But would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Go ahead and post them below in the comments how you want me to sell this. All right. Okay, so we got graded coins. Uh, we have a few very nice tight pieces for you guys to consider. Uh, we have this 1971S Eisenhower dollar. And yes, it does say silver. This is the 40% silver version of this coin. This one is an NGC Mint State 64. Good looking coin, very flashy looking coin with nice cartwheel luster in there. So that's going to be one of the coins we're going to auction off here this coming Friday. And someone was talking about nice, affordable, early copper uh, type coins. Someone had said, hey, let's see a nice, affordable Flying Eagle. Well, I got one here for you. 1858. Uh, Flying Eagle, PCGS VG10, still tons of detail left on this coin. It's the small letters variety on this one. There's the reverse there for you. Let's go ahead and get a little bit closer for you. Uh, but you can see, uh, you know, just good, good old-fashioned circulation wear on this one. Uh, good looking piece, straight graded, beautiful coin, nice little wood graining in there as well. This one will be available coming up on Friday. And uh, who doesn't like a really nice, good-looking first-year Buffalo Nickel? Okay, and not just any one. We have a Denver Minted 1913 uh, Type 1. So it's going to feature the Buffalo on a raised mound with a mint mark. Definitely a little bit tougher date here, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, not a, just not a Philadelphia Type 1 1913. This is a Denver. So uh, a little bit more uh, limited in mintage. Uh, good looking, fresh example, little bit of circulation wear, not too bad. This is going to be a great type piece for anyone that is interested in this coin. Uh, we have a beautiful one right here. We have a 1943 Steely. Check out this grade. Nice mint state 66 for you. Good looking coin here. So someone that wants a popular one year type uh, Steely, look no further. I have this one available for sale. So keep an eye out for this one on Friday. We have a couple beautiful Mercury Dimes. Uh, we have a 1942S NGC graded Mint State 64. Nice flashy luster on there. Even got a little bit of toning on the obverse, not too crazy. You can see a little bit right there above the motto. Uh, but all in all, beautiful, beautiful type piece. This is like one of the top uh, perennial favorites as far as uh, 20th century design goes between this and the uh, Walking Liberty halves, of course. Uh, so we have a nice, a little bit tougher date with that S mint mark on there. Uh, it's going to be available on this Friday's sale. And we have a really nice high graded specimen here. 1943 Mint State 66 through NGC. Ooh, check that out. Very satiny, smooth luster. Nice cartwheels, uh, you know, you'd look at this thing, you'd swear it'd be a nice full split bands, but no split bands on this one. But nonetheless, a beautiful high grade specimen here. Um, you know, me personally, I would be happy to own something like this if all I needed was one Mercury Dime. This is a good one here to have, and this one will be available. Uh, we have a couple more to showcase and then look out again coming up tomorrow. On some of the more additions I'm going to add to the lot. I have about, uh, I don't know, about another seven or eight coins to add to this mix. Uh, again, let me know what you uh, want me to do with the Edith Kanaka Ole uh, quarter rolls. If you want me to sell it as a three roll set. Or if you want me to split it up and sell the PDNS uh, rolls separately. But... We have this 1898. Uh, I would say this is probably a uh, bargain Morgan dollar. Uh, considering that Morgan dollars have been shooting up with the price of silver, 
Yeah, uh, I've been trying to source some affordable Morgans for you guys. This is an AU55, but it looks a little bit better than that. I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie. This one looks a little bit better than an AU55. Uh, you know, it's got some, um, you know, just regular good old, a, a few marks here and there, a little bit of circulation wear. But, you know, I if this was an AU58 coin, I would say that's probably more along the lines of what we have here on this one. So uh, good looking, all original, lightly circulated 1898. All right, and then we also have an 1897. This is an AU55 example, uh, same as the previous. I'd say this one's more along the line of a 55 than the previous. Uh, but you can see the difference here uh, between the 98 and this 97. Check that out, you know. So wh which one is undergraded? Can you guys tell me? If you guess the 1898, I think I would probably agree with you. But there's no way that these are both AU55s. This coin looks like an AU55, but this, um, the other one, definitely not a 55. So, yeah, this one will be available. Uh, nice, I would say, affordable Morgan dollar for you guys to uh, to bid on. If you're looking to um, add more silver, add more meaningful, classic, early 19th century pieces to your uh, collection, uh, then this one is probably uh, a good candidate here. So... We'll add that one into the mix. Looking forward to offering that. And then finally, we have a uh, much nicer, kind of really cool toned 1884 O. Now, this time, this is the first, no, this is actually the second annex graded coin that I've offered on whatnot. And uh, we have a mid state 63. This one is actually very cool. Um, that, that original kind of skin on there, it's kind of like a wood green, woody type of affair. Uh, but a very nice early piece right here. And, uh, you know, good to see something in Annex getting a little bit of love on the Blue Ridge Silver Round Whatnot auction coming up on Friday. So if you guys are uh, kind of digging that one, stay tuned. This one will be available coming up here in uh, about 48 hours. So looking forward to offering this one as well. So, my friends, that's going to go ahead and do it with the preview for this coming Friday U.S. Type and World uh, uh, Coin Showcase, I guess. I forgot what I named the thing. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys want me to do with the uh, PDNS rolls. If you want me to break those up uh, individually or just sell all three in one, uh, go ahead and post them below. Um, but that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I look forward to seeing each and every single one of your beautiful faces on the whatnot platform this coming Friday. Again, all of the links will be down below, including the referral link to get your 15 bucks, the link to get to this live stream. And by the way, whatnot has rolled out a, uh, a marketplace function. Uh, so all of the buy it nows that are on everybody's respective whatnot accounts are going to be available in one spot, all right? So you're gonna, you're gonna be able to see those Valcombi uh, one, out, one gram bars on my uh, list, and then I will add more Buy It Now stuff as well coming up here tomorrow. So look out for those, and uh, thank you guys again. I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Have a good night, and uh, let's have fun with this. Take care.